Now to the latest on the Ebola case in Dallas. Thomas, Thomas Duncan is in critical condition, meaning his health has gotten worse. As for the people who came in contact with him, they will now be observed for 42 days, which is double what experts call the contagious period. This evening, Duncan's fiance tells ABC News she's frustrated by the lack of information from the hospital about how her fiance is doing. In fact, we have learned he's on a breathing machine. Five days after Thomas Eric Duncan was diagnosed with Ebola, the engaged father is now in critical condition at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas. The situation is, I guess I would characterize it as, as grave. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins tells News 8 Duncan's family is concerned, but doing better now, a day after they were moved out of their apartment and to a private home far away from other houses to wait out a stressful situation. Where we took this family yesterday is the kind of place where I would put my own family and Mayor Rawlings would put his own family. Meanwhile, cleaning crews completed phase one of the effort to decontaminate the family's home at the Ivy Apartments in Northeast Dallas. Soon, they will begin work to sterilize everything inside and dispose of items taken out. The way to stop Ebola in its tracks is contact tracing and follow-up. The Centers for Disease Control now says 49 people are under special observation. Nine of them had direct contact with Duncan, and that includes Duncan's fiance, three children, and first responders. They're looking back minute by minute. Trying to have them retrace their steps, identify what may have happened. Among those now under observation, the patient who rode in the same ambulance right after Duncan. And although Thomas Duncan is in critical condition, we do want to point out that former Fort Worth doctor Kent Brantley was also in critical condition at one point, and he still managed to recover. The big difference is Brantley received the experimental treatment drug ZMAP. The company only had a few doses, and there's none left, so Duncan won't get it. Also new tonight, Rick Sacro, the other American doctor who survived Ebola, is back in the hospital. He was readmitted with what doctors say appears to be an upper respiratory infection, but until they confirm it is not a relapse of Ebola, he is being isolated.